Hey everybody, how's it going? Today I'm going to be talking about both the beauty and the tragedy of Ted Lasso. So I just watched the series finale uh, just recently, and it's absolutely beautiful, just like the entire series is. It's a really wonderful show uh, for so many different reasons, but the, the biggest reason is simply the characters and how real they are and the life lessons that they teach us, the audience. Um, so a lot of the best parts of the show are all really about uh, mental health awareness and the fact that everyone has their own struggles and obstacles in life. And while those things are all unique for each of us, we're all in the same boat uh, when it comes to you know the fact that we all have obstacles, right? No one goes through life easily. No one has it easy. Um, everyone has their own internal struggles and uh, problems, but a lot of the show is all about how it's better when you actually are able to seek help from others and look to the people around you, um, you know, to talk about your issues, and then also um, to help others around you with their issues as well. And just realizing that everyone can be in a better place. Everyone can be happier when, you know, we all support each other. And a lot of the show is about that. And Ted coming over to this team, AFC Richmond, and just completely revolutionizing the team culture there, um, not just for, you know, the play on the field or the pitch, um, but for the, all those people in their own personal lives, everyone being much more invested in each other and uh, helping everyone embrace themselves and to evolve into better versions of themselves. And this happens for everybody in the show. Um, but one great example would be Colin Hughes, somebody who was really afraid about coming out about his sexual orientation. But once he uh, was able to do that, uh, he found out that everyone around him supported him. And all of his teammates were there for him and loved him all the same. And, uh, you know, what Ted said in the locker room in that, you know, scene where it finally came out was really, uh, really beautiful, you know, and the same goes for everybody else. Everyone else was able to evolve over the course of the whole show and uh, really become better versions of themselves. Nate, another great example of somebody who really had a lot of problems and that took him to a dark place where he really did a lot of bad, obnoxious uh, things, uh, but he even was able to uh, become better by the end of the show and uh, evolve into a much better place in his life, not only within himself, but with his relationships. And that's another thing about the show. A lot of relationships become better. So Nate with his father, uh, his re that relationship became a lot better. Uh, and then uh, same thing goes, uh, you know, for Jamie with his own father, whose father was ridiculously obnoxious and a horrible person. But even that relationship was able to be patched up by the end of the show. And a lot of this just comes down to the, you know, to the fact that we can all be in a better place in our lives by seeking help from others and being willing to talk to other people, be open with other people, respect other people, and being willing to learn from other people. And really just together, that, that's really what matters is we're all in it together and we can all make each other's lives better and help each other to embrace our uniqueness and to you know become the best versions of ourselves as we possibly can. So that's really the beauty of this show. And it's a wonderful lesson for all of us watching to know that we're not alone with mental health issues, we're not alone with struggles, and it helps to encourage us to seek out help about those issues and to seek, uh, seek out others who may be struggling with things and teaches us that we can not only be open about our issues but be actively looking for, uh, you know, to help other people with their issues, not to leave anybody alone, not to exclude anybody, not to neglect to, you know, help that friend who uh, is struggling or the family member who's struggling. So I think it just teaches a bunch of wonderful lessons for us as the audience. Uh, and I think that can help build a better sense of community, you know, in all of our lives where we're all helping each other more. And that's really the power of this show. The fact that I think, it, I genuinely think that it can help make the world a better place because of all the wonderful lessons it teaches. But I do also believe that there is a more tragic side to the show. And I think that tragedy is um, mostly shown in Ted Lasso himself. So Ted is a wonderful person who does wondrous things, and I really do believe he's the catalyst for pretty much all the good things that happen in the show to everybody. He's the one who was able to revolutionize the uh, the whole team environment at AFC Richmond. Basically, just every life he touched, he was able to make it better, whether it was Rebecca or Nate or Colin or Jamie or Roy or whoever. He was able to make the lives of the people around him better uh, by helping them to help themselves and help those around them. So... It was really revolutionary what he did, but I kind of come back to what his mother said in the second to last episode uh, in season three and just the second to last episode of the whole series about how it's like he helps everyone but himself. 
and he's looking out for everyone but himself. And he did do some things, especially in the second season with Dr. Sharon, and he did finally kind of open up about some of his own personal issues with his father's suicide and tons of other issues he had and still has in his personal life. But I really do think of everybody, I think most of the characters had a really happy ending at the end of the series, whereas him, I think it was kind of more of a bittersweet end. Um, I think it's wonderful that he's going to be back with his son. Um, I think that was obviously, in that regard, 100% the right choice for him to be around his son and be able to raise him and be around and be invested in his life and involved in his life, other than just, you know a few weeks when he can come to England, right? But I really do think that the environment back in Kansas City isn't the best for Ted. I really think, I mean, what Rebecca suggested in the last episode would have been much better where, you know, ideally, if... Ted's son, and then I guess, you know, his ex-wife Michelle could have moved to, you know, England, and they all could have lived there, and that would have allowed, you know, Ted to stay at AFC Richmond while also being, you know, around his son all the time, and his son could have gone to a really good school there, and Michelle could have found a job there or something, but I guess maybe that wasn't very realistic, right? I mean, would Michelle have agreed to that? I don't know, but I think the sad thing for Ted is, outside of being around his son, I don't know what's there for him anymore. You know, I think, unfortunately, it's kind of, I think it would be toxic for him, a toxic environment to be around his ex-wife and her new partner, Dr. Jacob. And that's a relationship, I don't know how y'all feel about it, but that's a relationship that I think is highly unethical and very inappropriate, given that this guy, Dr. Jacob, was their marriage counselor, and then he turns around and has a relationship with Michelle. I think that's just very inappropriate. Um, And I think that's clearly something that's impacted Ted. You can see that throughout season three. And I don't think that's a good thing for him to be around you know, and outside of being around the sun, I mean, there's still going to be, I'm assuming, split custody. Uh, I don't know exactly how that'll end up for Ted, but he's not always going to be able to have his son with him, and during those times, what's he going to do, you know, what's his, I don't know what kind of job or environment he's going to be able to live in, you know, living alone and not having that kind of same family at AFC Richmond that he, uh, you know, that he just left, so, you know, I think it's bittersweet. He's going to be around his son, that's awesome, but it would have been wonderful if, you know, Rebecca's suggestion could have worked out, but I guess Michelle probably wouldn't have agreed to that. So I feel bad for him, you know. Uh, I feel good for him being around his son, but I feel bad for him at the same time. But I guess in a lot of ways, again, going back to the fact that this show is realistic, I think that is realistic in the sense that, well, unfortunately, not everything is going to have a happy ending. Not everything is going to be perfect in real life. So the same goes for the show. Some wonderful things happen for Ted at the end, most importantly him being able to be back with his son, but... There's also a lot of sadness and, you know, in ways that that end for him wasn't, uh, you know, perfect. So, and you know, that's real life, unfortunately. So, that's realistic. And once again, the show's showing us, you know, that life isn't perfect, but we can all together work to make it a better place. And that's something we should never give up. Our world can never be uh, perfect, but we can always work to make it better. And we should never stop in that uh in that aim, right? All of us together, we all have to work together to make each other's lives as uh, best as possible and to make this world as best as possible. And that's the power of this show. So if you have not seen this show, I highly recommend watching it. Or if you've only seen parts of it, I highly recommend continuing it. And honestly, I want to rewatch it at some point. It's just a wonderful show. And I really do believe it will help people and will help to make this world a better place. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. Let me know down in the comment section below how y'all feel. I'd love to hear y'all's thoughts, so look forward to chatting with you all in the comments section below. Thank you all so much. Bye.